Eagles. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to front like you didn't have me nervous at the beginning of that game. I mean, we picked uh, a grand time to have our first turnover, uh, excuse me, our first interception and our first fumble against the Cowgirls when they was putting pressure on us. But we turned it around. One of my main uh, topics in my last uh, video was Jalen panicking, right? When it seems like things are unraveling, it seems like things are going not going his way, he starts to panic, starts to throw unnecessary deep balls. But today, I really saw him calm down, gather himself, and understand that he was still in control. And that is a huge compliment to, to the brother, right? Even in the face of adversity, he calmed down. He was like, look, no worries. Shake it off. He checked behind himself when he ditched the player. Because remember, and I can't remember what game that was, where he was just, I think it was the Bucks, where the defender blew by him. And then he just stood in the pocket like that guy disappeared in the thin air. Well, this time he scrambles. He checks behind them and he's like, OK, you know, I'm not getting away. Nobody's open. Let me throw it away. That's progress. That's all I can ask for. All I can ask for is for you to learn from your mistakes and do better the next time. And I, I have to say, I think that you did a great job with that. I love this game. Of course I love it. Look. Your best weekends as an Eagles fan is when the Eagles win and the Cowboys lose. But it makes it even better when we're the reason why they lose, right? We we knew Dak was out. Dak's going to be out for a while. So um, we got a little taste of Cooper and a little taste of Trey. Not, neither of them could do anything with us. My overwhelmingly positive takeaway from this game was the defense. The defense played absolutely crazy. When they were keeping it tight... When they were forcing those turnovers and, and fumbles and, the, and they were getting after Jalen, the defense stood their ground and made sure that the game didn't get out of hand and they didn't score. They got two field goals out of that. I'll take that any day of the week. Two field goals? Come on. I love it. I absolutely love it. Defense, please, for the love of God, keep playing lights out like you do every week. And offense, like I said, you clean that up. So I'd like you to keep that up too. I'd like you to not panic. I'd like you to make adjustments. I'd like you to do what we got to do. And I'm glad to see that our starters were sitting because Washington is coming up Thursday, short week, and we need them. We need everybody to be in tip-top shape for for uh, Washington against the Commanders. Uh, Washington against the Commanders. <laughs> Thursday against the Commanders because it's a short week. Um, overall, like I said, I, I have really positive takeaway from the game. Um, I thought that we got the ball moved around. We had different players touching the ball. Um, we had people, when their number was called, stepping up and, and, and doing what they should do. AJ, as always, amazing. Um, Smitty. Oh, man, it's minute if you could have caught that ball. It, even though I thought, listen, everybody was saying it wasn't pass interference. My opinion was he got there a little too early, held Smitty's arm down. Was it Smitty or was it AJ? I think it was Smitty because Smitty ended up dropping that ball. But it was it was one play where I thought that the defender got there a little too early, pulled down the arm so that he couldn't make the play. I, I, like I said, I can't remember if it was AJ or Smitty. To me, that was pass interference, but whatever. Great game by the Eagles. We appreciate you. We appreciate you for kicking the Cowboys while they're down. Do not let them breathe. Do not let them, you know, get any hope. Don't let them think that their season is still going. It's not. Their season is over. They need to be looking at draft picks with the Giants, okay? They need to be trying to find every little player they can for pennies on the dollar because Dak and CD took all the money, <laughs> I got a Cowboys forecast for you. The next four years uh, is misery. <laughs> the next four years is rain and misery. Dakota rains. Ah. 
when he signed that deal, I, I figured that was just going to be another four years that I wouldn't have to worry about them in the postseason. And I'm pretty sure that that'll come into fruition. I have to check back with you in 2028 to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that they're one and done if they make it to the playoffs for the next four years. Um, yeah, great game. Less stress after, you know, those first couple of slow starts with the offense. I like that. I enjoy a game where sometimes I can just lay back, chill. We got our backups in. They get some reps. They they can look halfway decent. Uh, Shipley was running the ball pretty good. So, you know what I mean? Where we can find other good assets on our team where if somebody goes down, we got other players that we can put in, in instead. I love it. I love this game. Um, let's try and rest up and get ready for the commanders because they're not to be they're not to be trifled with. Them boys is balling. We got to do everything we can and scheme up everything we can. Oh, I do have one 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 bone to pick with Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore. The Dallas Cowboys have almost the absolute worst run defense. And you wait to run it until the second half of the game. I, I get maybe the Saquon got hurt with his arm going up underneath the player, but you got Gangwell, you got Shipley, you got other people that can run the ball. Run the ball on a team this week against the run. Use their weakness against them. What? Come on. You saw how we ran the ball the rest of the game with Jalen, with uh, with uh, Saquon, with Gainwell, with Shipley. We were picking up yards in chunks. It was like nine yards of carry. I might be over exaggerating it, but it was it was chunk plays that we were getting when we were running the ball. Whatever they're weak to, use that to your advantage, brother. Come on, fly Eagles, fly. Let's get this next dub on Thursday night against the Commanders. Right now, we're the number one seed. And we can hold that and keep that momentum. We're number one seed in the NFC. Um, I think the Lions have to lose one tonight at eight for us to be number one in the NFC completely. But NFC East, we're number one. I don't know. The Lions look good. But they're not immortal. Nobody is. They can lose. Oh, except for the lousy, stinking Chiefs. Broncos, you had that thing sewed up, wrapped up in, in gift wrap. All you had to do was make that chip shot field goal. And you blew it. You blew it. I promise you, I do not want the Chiefs to be the Dolphins. What was it, the 71 Dolphins that went undefeated and won the Super Bowl? I need them to be the, was it the 07 the 07 Patriots undefeated the regular season and losing the Super Bowl. That's the only sting I need on them right now. Let them go undefeated. Let them go undefeated the whole rest of the year. Let them go undefeated all the way through the playoffs. Let them cruise to the Super Bowl and then let my Eagles come in there and put the smackdown on them and win that Super Bowl. That's going to be the only medicine that, that is going to sting for them this year. Because one loss during the season now is nothing to them. They got to lose big in the Super Bowl after going undefeated all the way there. And the Eagles, we can do it. We can do it. I promise you if we keep playing like this and, do, and, and taking care of the ball, got to take care of the ball. Taking care of the ball, running the ball, running the, to pass, running to get the pass game open, and playing lights out on offense and defense, we can beat them. And it won't be somber like it was in Super Bowl 57. It'll be a cheer. And we'll be on Broad Street partying all freaking night long on that parade. Fly Eagles fly. Let's go, baby.